Hey family, so a little bit of a disclaimer here. I didn't like Azara Wanted. I didn't really like Azara Wanted by night. I absolutely, with every fiber of my being, heart, mind, and soul, detested Azara Wanted Tonic. So, the question now becomes, does Azara the Most Wanted fall in line with its predecessors, or is it going to be better? Stay tuned. Hey everybody, it's your boy LeBay Rome, the Disabled Fragrance Guy, and I'm back for another review. Do me a favor, if you haven't done so already, please go down below, like, and subscribe to the channel. You guys know your support means everything to me. These videos really don't get done without you guys watching them. I want to thank you. Uh, sincere appreciation on my part for you guys for hanging in there, hanging in there with me um, throughout my fragrance journey, uh, subscribing to my channel, watching my content. I truly do appreciate you guys. I know that you have your choice of content creators out there. Uh, there are a ton of content creators out there. There are a ton of reviewers out there at the moment. But I thank you for rocking with me for a few minutes. Truly do appreciate you guys. So as you may have gleaned from my little vignettes that I am going to be reviewing for you today, Azaro's The Most Wanted 2021. Now, I I have a love-hate relationship with Azaro fragrances. I the the last azaro fragrance that i truly actually liked was chrome i did not like wanted i didn't like wanted by night i absolutely detested detested with my every fiber of my being wanted tonic i don't know what happened there guys you, i don't know what happened there um but i absolutely 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 co-sign for the most wanted. I do. I love this fragrance. Here's why. Notes. Cardamom, toffee, and amberwood. Now, you would have to be a complete fool to think that there are only three notes in this fragrance. I guarantee you there are more than three notes in this fragrance. But since companies are leaning more towards giving you the notes that we can identify with and not so much the notes that we may not know or are familiar with off the top of our heads. It's kind of a marketing ploy to, to grab that money, basically. You know, I get it. You guys need, you, you guys want to grab the money. I, I absolutely get it from a business standpoint. However, I'm a person that wants full information. I want the full note breakdown. I want to know exactly what I'm getting. I want to be informed so I can make an informed purchase with my hard earned dollars. I'm willing to bet that you guys out there watching this video right now are leaning in the same direction, but they only gave me three notes, so I'm gonna tell you three notes. Cardamom, Toffee, and Amberwood. Um, I love this sleek bottle though. I love blacked out bottles, you guys know that. This is gonna look good on any mantle. They are keeping with the revolver theme uh, with the predecessors. They are gonna keep with the revolver theme here, Azaro, printed on the back. Your batch code is going to be, if I can turn this around, lasered etched on the back and your pertinent information is going to be on the bottom of the bottle. Now off jump, this is my scent of the day. I have it on my wrist right now. Um, off jump, you're going to get a sweet burst of citrus, at least to my nose. It comes off as a sweet burst of bright citrus, which quickly dive bombs into a slightly spicy and sweet cardamom. Uh, this is giving me, and I kid you not, this is giving me YSL La Nuit de Lome vibes. And I'm solely basing that on the cardamom note. I love cardamom as a note in fragrances. I have since uh, La Nuit de Lome came out. This is giving me all those vibes. So if you like uh, La Nuit de Lome, if you like the YSL, you're definitely going to have to get your nose on uh, the most wanted 2021 because it's giving me all those sexy, sophisticated vibes that I love in La Nuit de Lome. Um, the toffee kind of gives a mild gourmand sweetness. It never really veers off into total gourmand territory. Um, it's not overly sweet. It's just kind of sweet enough to have that sexy, sophisticated vibe to it. 
it does have a little bit of a bubblegum essence to it. I'm not going to lie. Um, I did kind of get one million parfum uh, visualizations in my head when I sprayed this on. Not that it smells exactly like one million parfum. It doesn't. It's its own fragrance, but that's the kind of essence that I got from it when I first sprayed it on. Um, but I believe the bubblegum essence is strictly due to the amberwood. There is a lot of amberwood in this fragrance, guys. If you're not a fan of ambery scents, then I would tell you probably to pass this one by. I happen to love amber incense. I love amberwood incense. Uh, so this is definitely a win for me. Uh, but the bubblegum essence, I, I do attribute more to the amber wood than anything else. Um, it's mildly woody or woodsy, however you want to say it. Um, I do get a, a, a creamy kind of sandalwood type vibe. I know it's not listed in the note breakdown. However, it doesn't mean it's not in there. I do get a creamy sandalwood type vibe to my nose. I also get a little bit of an aromatic freshness. Um, maybe some lavender, perhaps. Like I said, I know it's not listed in the note breakdown. However, it doesn't mean that it's not in there. Um, I do get a little bit of a, a lavender vibe as well. Um, like I said before, this is similar to my nose to YSL's La Nuit de Lome. If you like that fragrance, you've got to get your nose on this because I think they are, uh, they're not twins. Maybe they are second cousins twice removed. Okay. So if you want to, if you have La Nuit de Lome and you want to add its uh, distant cousin to the mix, to your rotation, to your collection, I absolutely co-sign for the Most Wanted 2021. If you like deep, darker, more obscure, more mysterious type scents, I believe this actually would go well in your collection. It's not reinventing the wheel. Um, it's not, you know, breaking any molds or anything, but I do think it has its place. Um, it's not, like I said, it's not overly sweet. I do believe you can wear this in fall, winter, spring, maybe early summer. I would shy away from hot, humid summer days. I think it may be too cloying for that. Uh, but I do believe you can wear this pretty much 75% of the year. So you're going to be good if you want to pull for this the majority of the time. Let's talk about sizes and prices. There's a 1.7 ounce for $80 retail. This is 3.4 ounce. That'll run you $98 retail. However, if you are patient, you will probably find this at discounters in the next four to five months, probably in the 55 to 60, 65 dollar range. So if you don't want to pay retail and if you can hold out, I would say that'd be your best bet. If you want to get a little bit of a discount, it'll probably be around $60, $65, somewhere in there. Um, but would I pay retail for this? I actually did not pay retail for this. Uh, I got it on sale um, when Macy's was having a 15% off sale. Excuse me. Um, so I, I don't think I would have pulled the trigger had it been had it been on retail. Uh, I, I am glad I got it on sale. I believe you would be doing yourself a disservice if you purchased it retail. So I'm gonna try to leave some links down below to where you can purchase it. Don't buy this retail. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to save you some money. I want you to save some money. I want you to uh, be happy with your purchase. So if you have to wait, you know, two, three, four months to get this at a discounter, just, just wait it out. Go to your cabinet, sniff something else, Wait till this comes out uh, on a retailer or on a discounter and you'll be good to go. Now, seeing this is a sweeter, more darker scent, I'm not exactly sure why they decide to launch this in summer. Uh, that kind of mystifies me. However, however, um, like I say, wear, wear what you want when you want. If you want to wear this in summer, wear it in the summer. If you want to wear it in fall, winter, or spring, wear it in fall, winter, spring. Just I, I do believe it's a solid scent. I don't think you're going to be. Go, uh, I don't think you're going to go wrong with it. I think it is very mass appealing and crowd pleasing. I think you're going to get compliments. I've already been complimented by my wife on this. Um, it was an unsolicited compliment. Um, she did not compliment me just because she's my wife and she loves me. Uh, she will tell me something smells terrible if it smells terrible. She just happened to like this fragrance and complimented me on it. So I do, I do think it will garner compliments. So is the most wanted 2021 worth your hard-earned dollars? I say it is. 
I say it is. I didn't like any of its predecessors, but I like this one. I think it's the one that I want, and it's going to be in my collection for quite some time. Thank you guys for rocking with me. I know I'm running a little bit long right now. I'm going to get this uh, video ended. Please go down below, like, and subscribe. Leave a comment. You guys, I know I, uh, you guys know I love uh, corresponding with you. Leave a comment if you will, and I'll check you next time.